since we have to use a drop receiver, that means we have to use yet one more piece of metal between the motorhome and the uh, tow bar. One problem is they really don't go in really tight. Don't you, don't you hate when that happens? In the extreme case, I suppose that could cause you know the hitch to sway left and right a little bit because there's maybe one sixteenth or one eighth of a variance here, and then when you add the tow bar on the end of it, you got another sixteen eighth variance. So you could have an eighth to a quarter inch slop side to side. Well, to get rid of that, there's a product called a hitch immobilizer. And actually, I bought two different kinds. One here is this one uh, made by Stowaway. And I'll open up the bag and show you how that looks. And then the other one is called a hitch immobilizer, and it's made by Blue Ox. And out of the two, this one is much more stout. This is the one made by Blue Ox, and it's much more substantial of the two. And it's much more expensive of the two. This thing runs around $50, so that's quite a quite an expense. But uh, the, basically the two brackets go around the hitch and it tightens up against uh, that uh, black bracket or that black angle and that secures the hitch from wobbling around. And this second one, uh, this is the one made by Stowaway. It's much simpler in design and it actually goes over uh, the uh, drop receiver or tow bar, whichever you want to use. It actually goes over the tube and tightens from the bottom up, which will basically immobilize uh, the hitch. So I'm actually going to use both of them. I'm going to use one of them on one half of this drop receiver, and then the other one on the uh, part that goes to the uh, tow bar. So I'm going to try to install the blue ox one at the top, and then this one at the bottom because uh, the top should be a little bit more permanent. We'll see if it fits where it fits the best. Well, unfortunately, the uh, Blue Ox uh, immobilizer would not fit uh, between the drop receiver and the coach's hitch because there just was not enough clearance. The stowaway did, but only upside down from what it was recommended. Uh, here's the recommendation here. Um, and it's actually would not fit either in that configuration, but it will fit upside down. And you know, I don't really think it really matters because this is not really adding any structural integrity to it. It's just keeping the thing from wobbling around. And you'll see now that thing is tight. You can't wiggle it at all. So um, we're going to put the tow bar on and see if the other one will fit that. Well, with the tow bar in place, you can really see the wobble with this thing. So hopefully that other one will take care of it. Here is a Blue Ox immobilizer uh, attached to the uh, drop receiver. So there, I'll pan back a little bit and get a better idea of what we've got. I guess the tow bar does stick out a little bit, but I guess that's normal. Uh, actually out of the two, I think the stowaway one really fits a little better. This seems to fit a little bit crooked or cockeyed. Um, so even though it looks more stout in the package and more expensive, I'm not so sure that it's any better than this one here. And certainly this is a little more difficult to put on than this one is. But anyway, regardless, uh, you know, uh, we'll try to wiggle it here. And I mean, you know, we don't have no slop like you did before. So they work.